Hi guys, it's Joey and welcome back to my channel. Today it's all about eyebrows and I'm showing you guys how I do mine. And you can see that mine are quite sparse so I always have to walk out the house with my eyebrows filled. And let's get started. I have been using Rimmel's eyebrow pencil for years now and it's just amazing because it's affordable, the quality is great and the formula lasts really really long. Firstly, you want to make sure that your pencil is sharpened so you can draw crisp and fine lines. I love doing ombre eyebrow looks so I always start with the lightest colour first. I like to follow my natural eyebrow shape so I just create light fine strokes along the natural shape of my brows and I build that colour up until I'm happy with the intensity. It's a great way to start by imagining what kind of eyebrow shape that you want to achieve. You know, if you want to follow your natural shape or you want to create something different. I always comb over the eyebrow pencil as I go to keep it blended and soft. Next, I like to use a slightly darker shade because I don't want to create a high contrast. And I gently fill in the other half of the eyebrows. I don't like the ends of my eyebrows to be too long, so I like to leave it short and sweet. Now that we've added in the darker colour towards the end of the brows, I always blend that so it actually diffuses into the lighter colour. A trick for ombre eyebrows is to have the bottom of the front eyebrows slightly darker and blended into the tail of the eyebrows. And with the front of the eyebrows, I always blend it out so there's no harsh lines. After that, you checked that you're happy with your eyebrow look and now it's time to set it. I'm using my favourite eyebrow gel to set the hairs and also to give it a light colour since it's naturally black. Especially when your hair has been coloured, I believe it's very important that your eyebrows match the colour of your hair. Unless you have red hair, then that's an exception. You can see the difference it makes by having your eyebrows filled in to complete your look. This part is optional but I like to highlight underneath my brows for that extra crisp look using a concealer. I just think it's so amazing that any type of eyebrow shape or arch can make you look and feel different and it frames the face so eyebrows are so important. I lost some of that footage but all I did was highlight underneath the brows and I used my pinky finger and just slightly dabbed to blend it out. I also mentioned my lip and cheek product today in case you guys are wondering. For my complexion, I've used the same products I mentioned in my last video. Even if I have minimal makeup on, I always have to have my eyebrows filled in because I can't walk out the house without my eyebrows. <laughs> and now the look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.